Gamer family? Oh crap, the next month is December. Oh. There's some issues with me being able to do off-camera stuff, which is why I'm like, ugh, crud. Crud. Probably not a ton of off-camera auxiliary battles, honestly. I'm not gonna have time for a lot of them, honestly. Oh, and January only has, like, one month where you can do one, like, one, maybe two free weeks, too. Damn it. Annoying. Mm -hmm. We've gotta go. Now. The situation in Ramire Village has changed drastically. We don't know much more than that. We're hearing reports that the villagers are killing each other. Some say houses are burning. Regardless, we need to move. Kill! Kill! Ah! <laughs> help! Somebody, please help! What's going on here? <clears throat> Don't waste your time on me. Saving the villagers is far more important. We haven't a moment to lose. What can we do amid such confusion? We'll have to take up arms against the villagers who are rampant. If we strike carefully, it should be possible to spare their lives. Oh dear. Isn't there a more peaceful way to deal with this? No matter how long it takes, we'll need to check and rescue them all, one at a time. Those who have gone mad may be victims themselves. Is it possible to save them? Well, saving the poor people who aren't crazy is definitely our top priority. Let's get on with it. Slow down, Annette. It won't do anyone any good if we panic and get injured ourselves. Isn't that... Your Highness, suspicious figures spotted in the village. They seem to be... watching the chaos. Are they the ones responsible for this madness? If so, it's clear what must be done. Kill them all. Don't let a single one of them escape. Sever their limbs and crush their wicked skulls! I think someone's angry. Yeah, just a tiny bit. <laughs> Uh, much appreciated. Remire Village is in the Kingdom territory, right? I am great. Or is it in the Empire? I think it's in. Thank you. Yeah. Ah, no, it is in. It is in the Empire. It's not in the Kingdom. I could not remember the puzzle was. This is the last video. Actually, this is the second last video we use Ash. Once we do his paralogue, he's done. Besides a couple more s supports. But for the most part, he really is done. You may be like, why did I just change the camera angle? I don't like heading to the south for some reason in this game. Actually, I don't like heading to the south in any 3D Fire Emblem game. It's just... I'm actually given control, full control of the camera and the ability to prevent that in this game where in Engage, I, you can't, you don't have full control of the camera, which, okay, that's another thing this game does better, whoops, that's another thing that this game does better than Engage, actually having more control over the camera, really nice. Sometime soon, I might toy with uh, replacing my battalions with better ones. Yeah. There are some suspicious looking ruffians out there, but our top priority is to rescue the villagers. Got it? I'll no. I'll in the villagers who've turned violent. You focus on rescuing the others. Oh, a new map theme. Wow, gamer. 
Oh, really? The best lance doesn't have effectiveness on these enemies? I thought it would. Kill. Kill. So yeah, I did a bunch Kill. of inventory ma maintenance thing. Um, the cool thing, though, is the magic stab, which makes magic weapons stronger. Magic attacks stronger. So now Annette does more damage than she did previously. Which is pretty cool, I do? if I do say so myself. Uh, he also has a Steel Axe Plus now, and a Killer Axe! <laughs> Seth remembers what a Killer Axe is, probably. Yeah. I was gonna say, I hope you do, since... I guess I can't talk about Binding Blade too much, because it's still airing. It's weird to think about that, because we finished recording Binding Blade about... Not a full month ago, but a while ago. And what if I remember yeah. correctly, this is if I if I did my calculations correctly, this is the final. What's your combat? Oh, that's really cool. If I Stay did my focused. math correct, I believe this is the final three houses video of 2023. I'll give it my all. Which is kind of crazy to think about to me. Uh, I guess we've been we've been recording this game quite a while. Um, we just these videos weren't able to record as much of them in one session just because I have to do more off camera. I don't know. It's weird. I've actually been enjoying this let's play a lot more than I thought I would. One of the reasons why I started this let's play now as opposed to like later, or something like. I don't care for three houses, I want to get it over with, and... It's still three houses. This, uh, the game's still three houses. One of my lower-rated Fire Emblem games gameplay-wise, but I'm still having a decent amount of fun. To the others. Isn't that Tomas, the librarian? I I'm still having a decent amount of fun with this Let's Play. And there's a lot I want to talk about in regards to my the feelings of this game. But I'm actually going to save a lot of them for this game's, um, fifth year anniversary. Is this Let's Play will, again, I believe I mentioned this already, this game will turn five over the course of this Let's Play. Like, as of the recording of this video, it's just about to turn four years old. It'll turn four years old in... It'll be four years old very, very soon for me. And... Huh. Wow. Wow. Just... This game is almost four years old. And when this is going up, it's over four years old. Where did the time go? I still remember the night this game came out. I remember I was out with my mom because her we had family over here, so we went to. Making sure I'm not dox doxing myself. Oh, we went to the Cheesecake Factory, um, and then we got home around... Uh, uh, we got home adjusted around... We got home around midnight Eastern time zone, which is perfect, because that meant there was time to play some Fire Emblem Three Houses for a couple of hours before going to bed. Like, I remember that night pretty well still because it was a really fun night. I, 
had a blast. Because again, that was the night it came out. Yeah, because like again, mm. with Fire Emblem gameplay, I'm a lot. Bad gameplay to me isn't is nearly as noticeable on a first playthrough. Story to me is always the most important on the first playthrough, which this game does phenomenally. Well, obviously on replay playthroughs like this one, I'm like, ugh, the the gameplay is so so not good and not not amazing or whatever the hell. But I didn't give a rat's ass on my first playthrough. <laughs> I didn't notice on my first playthrough, man. And that's that that's something that didn't happen with Engage. Like with Engage, I was like, obviously I was a little soft on the story. But like I wasn't it's not, I wasn't like the gameplay is like where that game excelled, I was like this gameplay. And on repeat playthroughs, it's still so good. What's the matter? So shocked you can't even speak. <laughs> You were so easily fooled by my disguise. I was hiding away in death. So, um, do you need a. Do you need, like, a cough drop? With her blood, we'll be one step closer to real. I think he needs LASIK. <laughs> so, now I'm gonna attempt to kill him. This is the time when we kill the Death Knight? No, I'm said I'm not gonna kill him yet. Even if you defeat him, he just comes back later. Because he must retreat. We're just trying to get as many level 20 units as possible, but I'm not gonna be able to get a bunch. Does it ever get revealed who the Death Knight is? Yeah. Technically, it already has. It's it Yuritsa. Like an, Thank you. Is it like a um? It's Yuritsa. The professor Yuritsa, oh. the combat guy, the guy who like oh. the guy that wore a mask in the monastery. Now, the real question is, who's Yuritsa? I don't think it's that big of a spoiler. He's actually Mercedes' brother. Huh. Yeah. Thank you. I don't. I, I don't consider that big of a spoiler. So I, I. I. Yeah. I just said it. YouTube. I just flat out told Seth. Deal with it. Really not the biggest. Spoiler. Death Knight is such a useless character that I don't consider it a spoiler. I'm just gambiting them all. I'm gambiting their ass off. Yeah. I'm just trying to get my units to level 20, bros. I forget the Death Knight moves in this map. Be able to get all of them up, but I'll be able to get a decent amount. Clearly, she needs an iron lance because she can't double with steel. Steel's really heavy in this game, YouTube, if you couldn't tell. But it also has the most durability of any weapon, even more than iron. Which I actually think is a neat trade-off. So, I approve. Yeah. Oh, come on. So many of my units are so close to level 20. Cursed Fellstar. This will be a fine opportunity to measure your power. Huh. 
Oh, nice. Not level 20, though. I'll probably get most you. I'll probably get everyone to be level 20 off screen, YouTube. By the next chapter, possibly Paralog. For sure, in the next chapter, though, everyone will be level 20. Except Ash. Because I'm not using him anymore, because he's leveled enough for the Paralog. You were but a savage, insignificant beast. Yet you think you can kill me? Yeah. I'm doing a pretty dang good job of trying to kill you, bro. I'll never be satisfied. Yes. 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 Another level 20 unit. I also bought all the advanced seals that I could. That's another thing I did. Even Flay's at the recommended level, YouTube. Why have you gone after this village? What are you planning? Huh. I could have conducted this experiment on any test subjects. Now that I have what I came for, I must bid you farewell. I must go. Wait! Damn it, he's gone. I will survey the village. There may still be some survivors. I saved at least half. Oof. Oof. Looks like we somehow managed to sort things out, and casualties were kept to a minimum. They said they weren't picky about who they used as their test subjects. Because of them, the people of Ramire Village. There you are. Is it ever revealed who the Flame Emperor is? Oh, bro, so, Chapter 11. You're the Flame Emperor. Yes. I believe you have met my subordinate, the Death Knight. The Flame Emperor reveal is a reason why we're playing Blue Lions. Huh. Because it's most relevant... Okay, it doesn't matter in Claude's route. The reveal really doesn't do much there. But this is the only route where it actually has a cutscene. Um... It's one of the few. It's one of the reasons why it feels like this game was so heavily made for you to play Blue Lions. Is the Flame Emperor's reveal? It's. I remember when I played Quad Route Verd and Wind for the first time. We had the Flame Emperor reveal, and I was like, "That that's it. That's it. No cutscene. Just portraits talking. And, oh, the mask is off. That's it. Like, oh, bro." Huh. But back to you. So good. You're it's the main the reason why. It's one of the main reasons why Blue Lions is the first route. Do not get the wrong idea. What in blazes does that mean? It is true that I am working with Solon, but that does not mean our objectives are the same. Had I known they planned to do this, I would have stopped it. You have my word. Your words are meaningless. Now. I'll have to insist that you accompany us back to the monastery. I cannot abide that. However, if you wish to join forces, I will hear your plea. What? If left to their own devices, they will commit countless more violent acts like this one. Do you not wish to prevent that? With the sword of the creator on our side, Solon would not be a threat. Penny, 
More shells. Unexpected. Pray that you do not live to regret your choice. Gerald, Professor, have you seen His Highness? What's wrong, kid? Huh? Oh, damn it! He's gone. Hey, I've been meaning to talk to you. Since coming to the monastery, you've changed. You've been angry since we first arrived in Ramire village. And you look so happy when you're instructing the brats. Before the monastery? That's rude. You your emotions like what do you that. mean? My life Not is once. just emotionless. I know, but calling then perhaps the students brats? Oh, yeah. The if only so <laughs> I could see your face lit up like that. Or maybe there was never any reason for us to leave the monastery in the first place. Uh, I've put my foot in my mouth, haven't I? Though I suppose it may be nearly that time. Come to my office when you next have a moment to spare. There's something I need to tell you. Just what was that about? I can't recall a time of old when you were at the monastery. I wonder what is hiding in the mist that is your past. Professor, I... I'm sorry you saw that side of me in the village. It must have been quite a shock to you and the others. I'm yeah. mortified by my... Especially to you, huh, Seth? When I saw the chaos and violence... Yeah. That's what Felix my is talking about. Went completely dark. You remember that support conversation when Felix was, like, talking about how, like, they went to wipe out some, like... People accused of like being behind the tragedy of Dusker, and how Felix is like he went complete savage. That's what Felix was talking about, bro. Uh. I see. So that Trust me, Seth. You will well. leave this game with Dimitri being your I favorite you Fire before, Emblem character. That someday we may find ourselves. Mm. If he isn't, simply cannot accept. You're watching this game That's wrong. That's what the chaos in Ramire Village was to me. Solon and the Flame Emperor are both beasts who must be eliminated. Demons who kill the innocent. They aren't even human at this point. It must be hard to fathom. It's true that I don't have any strong connection to those villagers. And yet... You see, Professor, I saw the same flames of torment just four years ago. In Dusker. Please, have mercy! <sighs> the pain! Make the burning stop! Help me! Somebody! Avenge us! Those who killed us! Tear them apart! Destroy them all! <sighs> my father, my stepmother, four years ago, they lost their lives to those flames. I'll never forget. I still remember their faces, their screams. The tortured last moments of every person who died that day. But right now, all that matters is that we do whatever we can to help the surviving villagers get back to their normal lives. Thank you for everything. There's a reason that I came to the Officers' Academy. Just one reason. I came here for revenge, and one day, I will have it. Dun dun dun! In case you're wondering, does he get revenge? You did well handling that complicated business in Ramire Village. 
I am certain the goddess shares in our grief at the senselessness of that calamity. More importantly, I was shocked to hear that our own Tomas was actually a dark mage. I must reflect on our blindness. You surely must. You failed to notice that a rat was hiding in your home. Pathetic! Who are these wicked foes? How did Tomas escape your gaze? Tomas came to the monastery 40 years ago by recommendation of House Ordelia of the Alliance. Around eight years ago, he went back to House Ordelia before returning to the monastery once again just last year. After having worked at Garrig Mach for decades, why would he betray us now? Just what did he hope to accomplish? Yuritsa became a professor at the Officers' Academy because of a recommendation from the Imperial nobility. Supposing that he is the Death Knight, that means that our enemy is an organization that has taken root in at least two territories. In the long history of the Church of Seros, no, long before even that, there have been an endless number of threats to the peace of Fodlan. Yet those who oppose us still operate in the shadows. Their identity is a mystery. I believe that Solon and the Death Knight are merely one part of a much larger whole. A threat to Fodlin's peace? That means we have no choice. We have to stop them all. I have truly come to rely on you. I believe that the monastery will remain safe so long as we have you. We do not yet know the enemy's objective or whereabouts. For now, please devote yourself to preparing for whatever comes next. That is all for today. Professor, please wait. I know there is much that you still do not understand. However, one thing is clear. You possess great power. I believe that you are destined to be a source of great hope for all. In any case, I expect great things from you. Walk this world proudly, dear Professor. May the goddess Sothis protect you. The goddess Sothis? Is that what she just said? Is something the matter? I see. In that case, farewell. Do not say something that we may regret. She... I... What exactly am I? For now, let's leave this place. Yes, thank you. Please, go. I've just never liked Sothis, YouTube. I'm gonna be- I wanna come clean. I've never liked Sothis once. Anyways, December and January are very- Actually, the next three months in this game are pretty unique. Part one. White clouds. Um, December- February is the last month the for a lot of the paralogues. January, you have way less weeks. And December has- no more the ball. stars will still glimmer Which, in the crisp winter air. The we'll talk about very star soon. has gone back into hiding. Legends. You may be looking at the run count and be like, "Man, this is gonna be." You may be looking at the like, "Oh, we're already at 28 minutes. Oh, this is gonna be a short episode." Yeah, but I urge you to look at the total runtime of the video. Look at how long the video is, because I guarantee you, we're not halfway done yet. Millennium Festival, still five years hence. Okay, so the ball itself will probably be in my paralogue video, which is going to be at the end of the month. Oh, wow. I got another support. Cool. That's about the ball. Ball's on the 24th. We are planning a grand ball for this month. I'm sure the students will be most pleased. Yes, certainly. However, we must not devote all of our time to frivolity. 
we have a new mission for you. We have found evidence of someone sneaking into an unused chapel. No, there is nothing of value in that building. We do not yet know what the intruder's objectives are. This month, your class is tasked with guarding the chapel and investigating these intruders. With the recent state of affairs surrounding the Holy Church, we cannot afford to overlook any abnormality, no matter how seemingly trivial. I am ordering a seasoned knight to assist you to ensure the safety of the students. In times like these, I am afraid we must always expect the worst. Reporting for duty, Lady Rhea. I thought you two could use the time to bond. And to speak of important matters. <laughs> Appreciate the thought. Bear in mind that Gerald has a separate mission of his own. He will join you once he has finished it. It's true. I'll be away from the monastery for a while. But when I return, I'll come and watch you work. I'll be looking forward to it. I love how there's only three free month, free weekends in this month again. I love that. Okay, so there's only three paralogs currently. We will do all of them. I only can do two combats a month. I mean a week. Oh, I'll do I'll do what I did last time, and I'll get the first thing done there. Uh, ooh, yes. Uh, I'll be recording for that one, almost for sure. Because I'll make sure I show that teaching, because I'm not going to show this teaching. So I'll make sure to show that teaching on camera. So. Yeah. So I'll make sure to show the white hair. Oh, that's what I was thinking. That's the mo That's important. So, yeah, I have to be recording for that entire week. Um... Then that's after the that. So yeah. Oof. Black magic. I don't have any black magic users. As you, as much as I want that silver shield, I don't really have. Oh, what the? There is almost no quests. What in the name of hell? going on okay okay um hello I'll do more if i remember correctly this is one of the few times where yep i remember that this is one of the few times where one of the ashen wolves is outside what the of uh their little gremlin hole aka okay, abyss Yeah, I'm not going to get to B plus this month, unfortunately. I can't remember if it caps at S or just A. Because I know the professor level doesn't go too, too high. I think it caps at A. If I can get it before chapter 12, that would be... If I can get it before chapter 12, I'm in a good place. Two things I want here. One. What's this about? The ball. Knights don't participate. It's an event for students, but it does pique the interest of some knights in particular. Working hard, aren't you? I'll admit, I'm impressed. I can assist with any tasks or help with your students. On it. I'm available anytime I'm not on a mission with the knights. Cool. That means she is now a part of my crew. Oh, cool. She starts a uh she starts the intermediate not, intermediate seal. That sucks. But she's level 17, which is nice. Uh what class? 
Wait. <gasps> what the fuck? She's a pre-promote. She's a sniper at level 17. Okay, what the hell? I don't need to use an advanced seal on her. I knew Catherine was a pre-promote. I didn't know Shamir was. That was not what I was expecting to see. They got an expletive out of me. That's cray cray. That's how off guard it caught me. Okay, time to save scum. I don't know if I'm strong enough yet for this tournament. Don't know if I'm good enough yet. If I'm not good enough, I'll have to do it later. I'm sorry. Two damage. I don't think I've ever seen SR with an armor knight before. That's wild. Wild, I tell you, YouTube. Wild. <laughs> I wish you could have seen my face there, Seth. I just got all... Mm. I just realized this video is going to go up in December, and we're currently in month 12, and... <laughs> in the game. <laughs> is it going to be different? I guess I could have sworn it's not. I've never had to fight an armor knight at first before. Okay, uh. Not doing it this week. We'll do it next month. Okay. Okay, I guess. Oh, my computer's having a real fun time. Real mm. fun. So I guess I won't do that quest yet. Actually, I do want to talk to Rhea right away. I do want to talk to her. Because I can't do my other stuff until I talk with Rhea. Before the ball, it is customary that we host a competition of dance hmm? known as the White Heron Cup. Yep. The students are quite fond of this tradition. Are they? Each house must select a representative to compete. Every time I tell Their someone, hey, you're going to become a dancer, they kind of get pissed off. And technique. <laughs> the student who is deemed the winner will be given the opportunity to train as a dancer, should they so please. It is a very precious thing, the gift of dance. I hope that you and your students will choose to participate. May I ask a favor of you? Ugh, I have to talk with Gilbert. Disgusting. We've kind of gotten to a point, though, YouTube, where there's almost no more quests left. I hope you're up for a challenge. Hmm. Then, if I remember correctly, Yuri's. Maybe. Yes. She. Yes, he Not is. Even the right tragedy there. in Ramire Village will stop the surface dwellers from getting jazzed about a party. I get that they're probably seeking a distraction, but it still feels pretty damn selfish if you ask me. Look, I get it. I'm still gonna speak my piece about it. Things have quieted down, but nothing has been resolved. Better stay alert. So, did you need something? 
Don't tell me you want me in on that whole cup business. <laughs> <laughs> well, I figured. All right, all right. I'll do it to make up for my negativity. The least you can do is practice some moves with me, since you insist on roping me into this, yep. yeah? I don't think it matters how much you actually oh, do it for. Yes, I'm in for it. <sighs> I believe there's a minimum charm. I believe a charm charm is the requirement for it. I just realized. Okay, I guess I won't do any promoting until next video. I won't promote any units. It cannot be true that our siblings in arms could turn against us, so... However, I will continue investigating members of the church. To think that even someone as senior as Tomas would fall under suspicion. I know not how far to take my search. Unlike the monks, the Knights of Seros are Lady Rhea's direct subordinates. Some are in quite unique circumstances, but I cannot think any of them would betray us. I have a request. I actually think I remember where the book is. I believe it's in the... Yep! Right by Ador Bernadetta's room, if I remember correctly, actually. I don't think it's in front of Bernadetta's room. I think it's just by it. Hey there. Yep, it's not Bernadetta's room. It's Petra's room? Yep. Why do I have to return to you? Dingus brain? Thank you very much. I hate you. Ashley, you what are your faculty training? No, I don't even need them. I hate you. Or she's right in the middle of it. Um, head up here to the north. The, the reason I'm doing this is risk of collapse, oh, so they as I should. Post guards. It's not too strange. Does that surprise you? Nah. Garrig Mock has lots of places that are blocked off for one reason or another. That's true of the underground Holy Mausoleum as well as the Northern Woods. People call it the sealed forest, but as far as I can tell, it's nothing special. Just a forest. Does I need D plus? Was with the C support with Caspar, the C plus the C plus ranking is good enough to um, recruit him, which is cool. Hey. Don't make me return to you. Hello there. Uh, of course, it's making your turn to you because I, because you, you suck, you suck, you're a, you're an asshole. Hi, impressive, nice work. Don't talk to me, ever again. Where are you, Eloise? Why is Eloise always at the pond? Why is my eye itchy? Ah, ball. It reminds me of how I met my wife. I was at oh, a village's what? harvest. That's right, festival. I forgot he's married. There was a full moon bathing everything in its cool glow. She appeared out of nowhere, dancing gracefully in the moonlight. A lovely fairy. That story sounds fake. <laughs> 
I can never say something so mean to Alois. He's one of my favorite characters. I've never used him as a unit, but he's one of my favorite characters. think of my wife, and my heart does a little waltz. Cool. And next month, I'll be able to recruit Caspar. I won't actually recruit him until one after. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Yeah, you two, this is the first time I've talked to the gatekeeper. Of course. Have you heard the students talking about it? On the last night of the ethereal moon, on the same night as the ball, if a man and a woman go to the goddess tower and make a wish, it's sure to come true. I have a wish, but I can't find anybody to make it with me. Hmm. Oh, yeah, no one in this house. Ah. I'll pick Ingrid, I guess. I don't know. I've never done that one before. Okay. I, I was so confused because, like, the music stopped. So I was like, did it stop working? Um... <laughs> That's all I needed to do on camera this month. Okay. YouTube. There's a lot of gosh dang supports. Let's do them. Oh, Professor. <laughs> I didn't realize you were there. If we keep running into each other like this, people will start to talk. They'll say, Sylvain and the Professor are on the prowl. <laughs> ah, forget it. What do you need? I fell for that girl recently, but I just wanted to have some fun and leave it at that. So, I told her we should break it off. I guess she was feeling a little more serious than I was. She started crying, and everything got a bit complicated. Come on, Professor. Playing around with girls is the most fun a guy can have. <laughs> Besides, I don't care what you think of me. I don't intend to change how I live my life. I'm a good for nothing, if you haven't noticed. But I'm still a noble with a crest. I have noticed. That's all anyone cares about. It's best to avoid <laughs> getting too serious with fools like that. It only leads to trouble. <laughs> I'm going to be forced into an arranged marriage with some random noble woman anyway. By the way, Professor. You didn't know you had a crest, did you? I see. I suppose a mercenary wouldn't be concerned with such things. Most children who are born to noble families are tested upon birth to see if they bear one. Even descendants of the ten elites, like myself, can't be legitimate heirs without a crest. Oops, I didn't mean to actually hit that. That, button, that, that means as children, control. we're only accepted if we're born with one. The heads of most noble houses keep having kids until they get one with a crest. Those children then grow up to be heads of their houses. And the vicious cycle continues. Do you get it now? To all these commoner girls, I'm just a trophy. Or rather, a hmm. stud horse. Perhaps, but... That doesn't change the fact that these girls don't love me. They only love the potential rewards of loving me. If I marry a girl and she gives birth to a child with a crest, that kid might become the next head of House Gautier. But nowadays, with the bloodlines getting weaker, there are a lot of kids like my brother, born with no hope. For ages now, those of us with crests have been envied and desired, but never for who we are. I understand the value of my blood, believe me. I hate how much I understand it. I know better than to dream of being free from this burden. I'm used to it by now. I used to think I didn't have the right to live freely. <laughs> That's right. Ah, keep pressing down the stupid controller. There's a you know what? Now. I'm a bit jealous. The whole time you were growing up, you never knew you had a crest. You were free. Nobody pretended to like you. I kind of hate you for that. 
You were a spoiled brat who should pay for that crest. Maybe I'll collect the debt. <laughs> gotcha! Wow, you should have seen the look on your face just then. Don't mind me, Professor. After all, ladies love a dark and brooding noble. That is a... Hey! Every single person that needed support with Dimitri ended up getting it. We're not going to be able to do all these this video. Sorry, I mean, Jesus. Dimitri, would you, um, do you want to train together today? No. Gosh, of course, I'm glad you asked. After classes conclude for the day, meet me at the training ground. I'll be waiting. And afterward, let's plan on dinner. We'll certainly have worked up an appetite. Oh, yes, I suppose. Uh, I mean, sure. It'd be, that is... Uh, it would be my pleasure to, uh, to dine with you. I mean, I, I uh, um... Ash. I'm sorry, your highness. I'm just no good at this. I'll do my best to improve. Are you still worrying over what I said to you before? I'm trying to do as you asked, but it's just completely against my nature. Trust me, I understand the urge to show respect where it is due. However, that is not the case here. Yes, I was brought up in a different family and raised in a different way, but otherwise, you and I are the same. That all makes sense, Your Highness. But I just can't bring myself to speak to you in such a casual way. Sure, when you get right down to it, royalty like you and common folk like me, we're all just people. But the common folk still rely on the nobility to keep the peace and to keep them safe. Commoners pay the price for that in taxes and respect. That's what Lenato says. I suppose I can understand that point of view. But the flaw in your logic is that I am not king just yet. But that's not all there is to it. Hmm? I also respect you as a person. You carry the weight of the whole kingdom on your shoulders. You're a faultless warrior, and you're always so kind to your allies. Even me. On all accounts, I can say the same of you. But you also have a strong heart. I can't say that about myself. No matter the circumstance, you are never drawn toward darkness. That mindset of yours has done me well on countless occasions. Well, I... I do my best. So I guess, mutual respect between us is what's really the most appropriate. Precisely. Which means there's never any need to be nervous or uncomfortable around one another. It seems we may have circled back to where we started with this conversation, but let's at least agree that we both should learn to bend a bit. How's that sound? All right. Let's start from the beginning, then. Would you like to train with me today, Your Highness? Of course, Ash. Come at me with everything you've got. <laughs> Mercedes, I'm sorry to ask this of you, but will you lend me a hand? What can I do for you? Oh, is the cuff of your overcoat still torn? Mending that shouldn't be a problem at all. It's pathetic, I know, but I fear my sewing skills are... Well, as you can see, they're just about non-existent. Goodness, you must have been concerned when I tore your cuff. Ah, well, that is to say... Would you please teach me to sew? I hear you're rather amazing at it. <laughs> of course I'll teach you. Don't look so heartbroken. You will? Thank you. Oh, I owe you for this. I'll go get my sewing kit. You wait here. I'm so sorry, Dimitri. I've never seen... Um... Well, it's just a bit... No need to dance around the issue. You're fed up with my clumsy efforts, aren't you? I thought you might end up bending some needles if you tried mending this on your own, but... How did you manage to break a pair of scissors? I'm just... I'm so sorry, really. I try to be careful, but with delicate work like this, I just can't seem to manage. There's no need to apologize. But you must have been uncomfortable making your way here with this tear. My inability to control my own strength is humiliating. Of course I'm useless at needlework. 
No giving up on yourself. You just have to practice, that's all. No matter how difficult something is, if you keep at it and don't give up, then you're sure to improve. Isn't that what you told me? Right you are. To give in to despair isn't like me. Thank you for the reminder. Okay, I'm ready to give it another go. Great! I'm glad to hear it. First things first, let's make sure the needle is actually threaded this time. No! I bent another one. Your Highness, I have a little favor to ask of you. Of course. How may I be of assistance? Well, I was hoping you could tell me about my father. I imagine he was a very different man at home than he was at work. Ah, so you wish to hear about the Gustav that I knew. As you know, he was a knight who served the royal family since my grandfather's reign. To me, he was a teacher of martial arts and tactics. He was someone I depended on since I was a small child. But he was also a very stern and strict instructor. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. He was much the same at home. He'd chide us if we made mistakes, whether it was with cooking or even how we spoke. Is that so? <laughs> Funny. I suppose in front of his family he felt the need to demonstrate proper etiquette. Wait, are you saying that's not how he was around you? Even all these years later, there's something I recall with perfect clarity. It happened in the autumn of my 11th year. Before the break of dawn, he woke me suddenly. Said he'd heard a disturbance and had me grab my bow. Then he set me and a fellow pupil loose on a dark mountain. Our only directive was to go catch a deer. As you well know, autumn in the capital is very cold. Now, imagine being up on the mountain at night with no idea what might jump out from the shadows. <laughs> that, in a nutshell, is the Gustav I knew. <laughs> I can hardly imagine that. He was completely different with me. I recall one other defining detail. He used to speak of you at every possible opportunity. Really? What would he say about me? Are you sure you want to know? There's one story he used to tell from when you were very small. No, stop! It's probably too embarrassing to bear. Is it? Uh, perhaps. Look, I'll promise to forget the stories he told me about you if you return the favor. Deal? Yes, that seems the only thing to do. It's a promise. There are a lot of supports. I'm trying to decide how I want to get done this video Andrew, with YouTube. I've been doing <clears> some <throat> thinking, and it occurs to me that I owe you an apology. What? Why do you seem so serious? In a just world, you would be happily married to Glenn. He... He truly loved you. And it's clear that you cared deeply for him as well. But on that awful night... He died right before my eyes. I could do nothing to prevent it. In a way, I'm responsible for you losing the joyous future that should have been yours. I know my words can change nothing, but... I'm so sorry, Ingrid. No, Your Highness. There's... There's no need to apologize. Glenn's death... It still doesn't feel real. I always looked up to Glenn. He was the very picture of a perfect knight. Noble and virtuous. In the end, he laid down his life. The ultimate sacrifice. I feel proud of him in ways that words can't quantify. Proud? Truly? That's right. I feel proud that he died for those he was sworn to protect. Proud that he passed from this realm to the next as a perfect knight. Are you really trying to turn his needless death into an ideal to uphold? Ugh. You and he are so alike. Needless death? How can you say that? Glenn gave his life for you, for everyone, and this is how you speak of his sacrifice? You weren't there. You didn't witness his last moments. If you had, you wouldn't feel that way. I don't care to hear your interpretation of his final moments. He was and will always be an ideal knight. You would do well to rethink that ideal, my friend. Pardon me? He served in your guard. 
He took great pride in what he did, in protecting you. The very least you can do is not spit on his memory. If you'll excuse me. What is the matter with me? Oh, I'm really curious what that one is. Oh, which one? The Felix and to do one. You don't like to talk much, huh, to do? I am not skilled in conversation. Any particular reason? Reason? I am only here at the monastery because this is where His Highness wishes me to be. Many here are frightened of me. Disgusted by me. I grow weary of it. That makes sense. A lot of people hate Dusker. They think all kinds of terrible things. Some of them even think you kidnap and eat people. <laughs> we sound like true monsters. Why are you smiling? Shouldn't it make you angry? I suppose. If those people would just talk to you, I'm sure they'd change their minds. I'll admit that when I first got here, I found you kind of intimidating. I didn't know if it was okay to talk to you. I hesitated. But like I said before, I just wanted to get to know you. And now that I have, I'm not scared at all. I am not very good at interesting conversation. We can work on that. Tell me about Dusker. What was your hometown like? Calm. More forested than Fargus. Each town had a specialty. Smithing. Fishing. You would be better off reading about it in a book. Okay, maybe you're right. But answer me one thing. You're a great cook and you learned at home. Why don't you make more Dusker-style food? As we have established, people hate Dusker. Food by itself may be harmless, but it is better not to sow seeds of discontent. Ah. But the cuisine of Dusker is delicious. I'd really like to try more of it. I am pleased to hear you say so. Okay, I have no idea what they expect in this oh, one. This is I delicious. cannot remember it. I can't believe I made it. Yes, you do have some talent. Oof. The way that that was said. What's the matter? Have I got something on my There was some shade behind that. No, Sylvain. Recently, I've heard rumors about you. Oh, yeah? Which ones? Is it that I'm terrible to girls? Or the rumor where I bring terrible misfortune to the girls I date? I don't, by the way, in case you're about to ask. Oh, I also heard about how I'm total trash and everyone should avoid me. That might be my favorite. Well, you don't lack for self-awareness. The way I figure it, if I can't be respected, I can at least be well-informed. You are being described as indefensibly worthless. <laughs> indefensibly? <laughs> That's a bit harsh. I already knew your reputation concerning women, but these new rumors deprive you of all redemption. I did try to correct them, but I doubt I was believed. Well, thank you all the same. <laughs> Listen, you don't need to worry what people think about me. As you well know, it's not easy to correct misunderstandings or change people's minds. And if I'm going to behave so badly, it seems misunderstandings are inevitable. I could not be silent. You saw me as a person, rather than merely as someone from Dusker. I want you to be seen as a person, too. I appreciate that, Dudu. You think the world will ever see us that way? Maybe. I can't tell if you're joking or not, but I like it. Then we will get along. Walk. So many Felix supports are locked behind chapter 13. I will say this, YouTube. Come chapter 13, we're going to be hit with an onslaught of supports. But once we get to that point, YouTube, there's no 
time limit for doing support, so I'll just, like, do them slowly, bit by bit. Yes. Well, I went ahead and took care of it. I also cleaned up the warehouse. Why? I just wanted to help you out. So <laughs> that... Okay, fine. I'm bribing you. So you'll forget. Forget what? Are you really gonna make me say it? I think he yeah, actually forgot. In house, I want you to forget what you saw and heard. If you agree to forget about it, I'll take your shift in the stables. Do we have a deal? No, thanks. <laughs> no? But that's not okay! You have to forget about it right this moment! I can't. It's permanently etched in my memory. A mountain of sweets, as well as steaks and cakes. Stacks of them, apparently. I'm also intrigued by those bear and swamp beastie songs you mentioned. Ah, and I've been meaning to ask about the move that went along with crumbs and yums. Was that fencing footwork? Oh, stop it, Felix! You're a villain! Hmm? You think you're so funny? Keeping a straight face while mocking my singing and dancing? Well, you have to forget about it! Please! What if I make you a nice steak dinner? You like steak, don't you, Felix? It'll be yummy! This isn't about steak. I just... Fine! Be stubborn! Tell the whole world for all I care! I'll just learn to live with the funny looks I'll get from everyone! They'll all say, there goes that Annette, the girl with the funny ideas about food! You're just the evilest of villains, Felix! I'll hate you forever and ever! Hmm. I was just trying to be nice. Funny ideas about food. Even the bullies in her head are ridiculous. I really don't understand that girl. Okay, so it looks... Looks like there are three more supports YouTube, and we are going to do them all! Because it gives me a good idea who I need to start hey, grinding more supports with. Talk? What's up, Ash? Looking for more life tips? Uh, Don't no. take life tips from Sylvain! That's well, life tip number one! <laughs> coming to my aid in battle the other day. <laughs> that? No need to thank me for that. No, really, I insist. If you hadn't been there, I definitely would have been finished. You really set a model for my training. I can only hope I'll be able to save someone like that someday. Again with the studying and the training? You're so stubborn you make Ingrid and his highness seem downright easygoing. My advice on the whole thing is to just follow your instincts. That's what I do. If someone's in trouble, I help them. You don't need to be a valiant knight to know that. It doesn't matter if the person is an ugly old man or the cutest girl you've ever seen. You help them. So you're saying... Everybody's the same, deep down. It's our job to help anyone who needs it. Ah. Oh. What? You're looking at me funny. Did I say something wrong? No, no. I'm just surprised, that's all. You're actually a much better person than I thought. Was that a compliment? I can't tell. <laughs> oh, sorry. I, I didn't mean any insult. I was just really impressed by what you said about helping people without even thinking. To jump in and help someone without any thought at all of reward. That is real virtue. <laughs> How did you say that with a straight face? I'd be embarrassed if I were you. Come on, Ash. You're an honest and overall great guy. You'll be an honest and overall great knight, too. Of course, people like you need to watch out for greedy people. Huh? Remember when I said I didn't need any thanks? Well, I didn't say anything about not wanting a reward. There's a girl, and we... We had a misunderstanding about who was allowed to date who, so, uh... I need to hang out in your room until everything calms down. Should only be a day. Or two. Tops. Sylvain... Come on, Ash. Remember? If someone's in trouble, you help them. You want to be a great knight, yeah? Oh, fine. Since you helped me, but just this once. All right, I knew I could count on you. You'll definitely be a great knight. He really would be a great person. If he could just stop all the scandal. 
Okay, now that you know the technique, go ahead and solve this problem. Ah, I've got it! Finally! <laughs> See? Isn't it fun to learn? Absolutely! You're great at this, you know. You really seem to have all the answers. I wish I could study and just soak up knowledge like you. How did you get so good at this? Well, studying was something of a necessity for me. What do you mean? My father was one of the king's knights. One day, he never returned home. He just left without ever saying a word to me or my mother. I'm so sorry to hear that. Losing a father so suddenly? I completely understand. After he left, I thought a lot about where he might have gone. My father was a devout believer, so I was certain he must have come here, to Garag Mok. Here? Really? That's why I was determined to gain acceptance into the Academy. I needed to come here so I could search for my father. The problem was that I needed money to get in. Lots of it. And I didn't have any at all. So I entered the School of Sorcery and Ferdy at first, hoping I could somehow find a path here. I studied tirelessly until I finally earned myself a recommendation. Oh, wow. So for you, studying has been like a way to meet your destiny. Destiny, huh? Well, yes, but it's a bit embarrassing when you put it like that. Now I have other reasons for wanting to keep trying hard. I want to protect all of my friends and allies here. I'm studying hard so I can be as useful as possible to everyone I hold dear. You've worked so hard. I really respect that. I'm going to follow your example. Last one. I actually like <clears throat> this one. That's a heavy sigh. Again. Yeah? That's the sigh of exhaustion after spending the past month apologizing for your behavior to, well, everyone. Apologizing? I've been pretty darn restrained lately. If by restrained you mean falling all over yourself to garner the attention of every passing female, then... Yes, you've been quite restrained. Mark my words, the more you hurt people, the more weighty the repercussions will be. Your actions will come around to bite you. Ha! If I get bitten, that's all just part of the game. Heck, I had one girl's brother come after me with a pitchfork. <laughs> if you end up getting maimed or killed by a pitchfork, don't expect me at your funeral. Glenn used to make light of getting hurt too. Then one day... He got more than hurt. Now he's gone. I'm sorry. I was being... <sighs> You're right. I know what it did to you when you died. It hurt to see you hurt. And not be able to do anything. When you wouldn't even come out of your room to take care of your horse. Nothing affected me the way his passing affected me. Well, I'm happy that you're better. Seeing you out and about helped me relax enough to be able to flirt with girls again. Your predictability is utterly disappointing. When I finally stopped mourning, you know what brought me back? My concern for you. Me? You know you can't get along without me following in your shadow and caring for you. You flirt with anything that has a pulse, offend mm -hmm. people left and right, and constantly cause commotions. Huh. The truth really does hurt. Is this the one I think it is? Please, Sylvain. <laughs> Consider your actions before you carry them out. And stop acting so nonchalant about getting hurt or killed. Oh, no, it was the, it was the first support that talked about him flirting okay. with her grandma right i promise it's not this one it's the first one <laughs> for some reason i thought it was the second yeah, one yeah i think that one already happened well that's that was that one's my favorite in the game the the grandma flirting one anyways youtube i'm not gonna promote units off screen i'll, I'll see how many of them are actually able to promote i'll do that uh, but that's about it We'll do that next video. I don't even need to promote her to an advanced class because she starts in one. Like, hot damn. Anyways, uh, yeah, this is a little bit of a longer one. Not the longest in the series yet, though. So anyways, YouTube, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.